Hello, I'm Emily Raquette with WHQ News, and joining me for this quarterly update is Amway's Chief Operating Officer, Mike Kayser. Mike, thanks so much for being here. Hi, Emily. Glad to be here. Well, Amway recently announced sales of $8.6 billion for 2017, a figure that once again is projected to be number one in the direct selling industry. Can you talk a little bit about some of the successes that you're seeing? Sure. There are so many areas where we are seeing success. But here are a few of the important ones that stand out from a targeted area, our digital infrastructure. I'm proud to say that our investment in digital is already having an impact in ABO education, buyer experiences, product demonstrations, and business management. We are committing even more resources to this area in 2018 and beyond, seeking to accelerate already impactful results. The convergence of e-commerce and direct selling specifically is a great thing for our business and will help ABOs as they seek to build their teams and buyer base, including efforts to strengthen buyer loyalty. We've placed a great emphasis here and it is showing early signs of paying off. More than half of our orders come to us online and more than a quarter of our total orders are from mobile devices. We expect both of these metrics to grow significantly in 2018. Our digital investment also makes our business even more attractive to individuals who are considering joining Amway or have, who have recently engaged with us. Can you talk a little bit more about why digital investment is so important to Amway's future? Absolutely. The next generation of entrepreneurs and today's consumers are both digital and social natives. To compete and win in today's environment, we need to meet both audiences' needs in this area, and we are committed to doing this quickly and efficiently. It's important to remember that for Amway, digital efforts stretch across several areas of focus, from product demos to devices controlled by apps, from ABO education modules to e-commerce platforms for consumers. We are focused on making the buying experience for customers easy, intuitive, and enjoyable, while amplifying ABO's ability to have success through these tools. All right, switching gears a bit, product innovation has always had a big impact on customers and ABOs. What is the latest that's happening in this area? We've got some great things going on, and we're constantly innovating on the product side. Led by nearly 1,000 scientists, engineers, and technical professionals who work at Amway, top of mind examples of recent innovations include Double X, our top selling premium multivitamin and multimineral product is celebrating its 70th anniversary this year with a new and improved formula. The product now has 12 vitamins, 10 minerals, and phytonutrients from 22 fruit vegetables, and herb concentrates, including a proprietary blend of important extracts. It's going to be launched around the world as we speak. Personalization in skincare business is an emerging trend, and we're on the leading edge as we prepare to launch our first product in this space in the coming months. I'm excited to share more about this soon. And Atmosphere Drive, it's an in-car air treatment system that uses insights from our industry-leading in-home air treatment system to bring air filtration into the automobile. It is launched in several markets and consumers are sharing rave reviews. Well, your first few months of 2018 are filled with travels around the globe. Can you give us an inside look at the markets you'll be visiting and what excites you most about these nations? India and Russia are two markets that have seen strengthening trends in the past year, and they are innovating in several ways, including the integration of digital technology into their physical presence centers. I'm excited to learn from their successes and see how we can leverage them as best practices for our global businesses. My visits to Mexico, Brazil, and Argentina include meetings with some of our young ABO leaders. It's so important that we leverage the unique insights from these leaders who are representing Amway in a very important and meaningful way. I'm committed to connecting with young leaders wherever possible and to seek to use those learnings globally as we continue to evolve and advance our business. 
It's always great to catch up with Mike and to hear his quarterly business updates and to get those insights. Remember, for more WHQ news stories, head to amwiglobal.com newsroom.